wait till March 7th. I can't wait till Fight Night. What's your headspace like right now at this point in Fight Week? Are you trying to stay clear of all distractions? Are you doing all strategizing? I'm already clear. What's done is done. The hard work is done. Now it's time to get to the fight. So we did. Word is uh, Broner is kind of taking this a little more seriously than he might have his last fights. He's trying to be a little more calm, a little more mature. You know. You think uh, that shows you anything? No, not at all. The, the, I just think it's a time in everyone's career they need to mature. But I can care less what people say until I see it for myself. March 7th, that's what it is. You know, I could say I just saw a six foot eleven guy walk down the street. He could really be five foot eleven. It's around and words mean nothing. It's all about action in the ring. All right, all right, all right. Now entering the ring. You could take away from the fight. All you can take away is that every man is, is susceptible to a loss. So, uh, like I said, uh, you don't you don't take away all I'm gonna do what my Donna did because then you'll be setting yourself up for failure. You take away his mannerisms, what he does when he acts under certain pressure. But we're prepared for a fight of any age of that shows up. Well, he, you know, I say McDonough because he's not exactly a master boxer, but he was yeah. able to get to him quite often in that fight. Well, I think McDonough is a notable name because he came out on top of the, with the victory. Yeah. But I think other fighters in the past have been able to get to Broner as well. I mean, I've got the nod, but but just show some holes in his armor. But again, I'm myself and they're them, so I can't really answer for them, but I know that I'm ready and prepared to do what I can do best in that fight. You were in the mix to fight him at the time when Carlos Molina fought him, yeah. and they decided to go to Molina maybe because they wanted to fight him. Punch or so soon. Do you think they wanted to build up his confidence a little bit before he came in the ring with, with somebody who could bang? No, possibly, but uh, either way, I believe they chose the wrong guy, uh, Mark Seven. What do you see as far as since he's come back from that loss where you're like, he's, he's, still, he's still susceptible? Because a lot of people say he's still the same guy. Yeah, it's not what I see or, or, or what I don't see. It, it's I'm ready to fight. I know he's ready to fight and we're going to get the fans a treat. Um, I, I'm very confident in my ability to, to become successful as Adrian Broner. Uh, that, that's where my confidence stems from. What do you have to watch out for him? What, what makes him problematic as far as his style? Well, he's very talented. You, you can't deny the accolades that he's accomplished in the ring. He's a talented fighter. We take him dead serious. And we're in the ring. We're going to we're gonna implement our will. And I believe my willpower, my being the physically bigger man, is going gonna, is gonna to hold uh, dividends come fight night. You know, they got, they got a, 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 another interesting fight in your division coming up with uh, Lucas Matisse, who you know well, and Ruslan Provodnikov. Do you favor, uh, which guy do you favor in that fight? How do you think it'll play out? Well, I've never been in the ring with Ruslan. I've been in the ring with Lucas, and uh, I think it's a hell of a fight. They can't miss fight. I'm excited to watch that fight. Um, technically speaking, I think Lucas is a little bit better, but when you get those two in the ring, you know he's an all-action fight. But uh, the, the fans are really going to win that night, And uh, but if I have to bet, I'm going to bet Lucas Matisse that comes out on top. How do you feel about getting fighter of the year from the Boxing Writers Association for the fight with Matisse? Extremely excited that the fans are recognizing uh, that I leave it all in the ring every time. And I believe that's the reason why I'm here today. And um, I'm excited and thank you so much for, for all your votes. Do you think that you've got that kind of like that Gotti-esque vibe going with whether you win or lose? People just want to see you right back in the ring again? Yeah, absolutely, but remember, we're in this fight to, we're in this fight to win. We're in this fight to lose. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I fight the fight and I'm going to leave it all in the ring every time. Broder is obviously huge, but where do you see your career headed after a win over a guy like him? You can ask me that March 8th, I'll tell you. Uh, March 7th, I'm focused on Broder, solely on Broder, and that's all I'm focused on right now. And the fights that he's had a lot of trouble in have been like Mexican come forward fighters. Not always exactly your style, but Ponce de Leon, obviously Maidana. You have a somewhat similar style in that you like to be aggressive and come forward. Do you see that playing right into your wheelhouse? Uh, possibly, but again, you got to prepare for a guy like that. So we got to see what we get when we get in the ring. We're prepared for any Adrian Brown that comes out. A, B, C, or D, we're prepared. So we're prepared for this fight. We're excited. I like my accolades. Uh, I like I like my, my personal uh, ability. He likes his personal ability. We're going to see who comes out. You throw a lot of punches, he's very selective in how he throws his punches normally. Do you think that's going to be another key, just outworking him? Uh, yeah, because I think his selectiveness doesn't come from, he's trying to be selective, but I think his selectiveness it comes from being not cheap. And I think that's going to prove more so. Yeah, Alright, man, thank you. Also, uh, takes, takes a good amount of punches when he fights. He gets in a uh, total toe fight. Do you think that can hurt him against you because of your power? Uh, I believe so, but uh, I think he's smart enough not to stay there in exchange. But maybe his pride will play into it, I don't know. But uh, no, he, he definitely, he's a talent nonetheless, but uh, he's gonna feel some, some pressure from me come March 7th. When you watch Adrian on tape, you know, you check out his fight, what do you see and what do you bring to the table that's gonna allow you to beat him on Saturday night? I got my heart and I'm the bigger man of the ring. Enough said, I mean, it's not lack of what I see out of him, it's what I see in my own ability. 
I can care less. What are you going to do? Yeah, everybody was really high on you following your amazing fight with Lucas Batiste. Everybody was looking forward to the showdown with Humberto Soto. What, what happened in that fight? Was there something that just, was it a flat night or something? I think it was a flat night. Uh, I don't want to take no, no excuses or anything away from Humberto. He did what he had to do to come victorious. I think that night I fought two men. I fought Jane 80 and I fought Humberto Soto. But with that being said, Humberto Soto got the victory. That's water under the bridge. My focus is on Adrian Broner. What does it say about you that the fans still believe you can win this fight despite dropping a tough fight against Soto? Shows that the fans actually see my heart. They know what I possess and what I put in that ring every time I get in that ring. Do you guys think you will steal the show and have the fight of the night satisfied? Without a doubt, absolutely. But again, it's a great card. Thurman and Guerrero are going to put on a war. I think it's going to be a good night of boxing. We're boxing all together. Yeah. Are you going to stop Adrian Broner or is this going to go off well? What do you think? We're going to get the W. Thanks a lot. Thank English you. or Spanish? English, English. Two minutes to guys. Yeah, actually, your, your thoughts on this fight with Adrian Broner? Thoughts on this fight. I'm very, very excited. Very excited. Looking forward to this fight, March 7th. Uh, we're well prepared. We did everything we needed to do to be prepared for this fight. There's no excuse going into the fight why we shouldn't come out victorious. Broner is a problem. He's a real problem for John Molina? No, no, not at all, not at all. He's just another man with two fists and a heart, just like me. The last time he fought a Mexican fighter, he thought, he quote, he just fought another Mexican. Are you ready for this kind of mental game? That was, now, this is a whole other Mexican he's getting in there with, so it's going to be a good night of boxing. Regardless, Mexican, American, African American, uh, purple, blue, green, it doesn't matter, but my pride is going to carry me through the victory for this fight.